Hi guys, this is Kimmy Yangs and welcome to the Emirates Boeing 777-300ER Game Changer Suite. Now if you guys have watched my previous video of the first class experience on the Emirates Boeing 777-300ER, that was the earlier gen aircraft which um, flew in from Budapest to Dubai, that was EK-112. I will leave the link in the top right hand side corner so you guys can go down and visit that. Of course, that was the previous gen and this is the latest offering by Boeing 777-300 for Emirates. Well, as you are aware, I was really hoping and praying that you would get this upgrade because this being a day flight would really help things and um, I would be able to show you guys all the features and everything that this suite has on offer rather than I would rather than the night flight which I would be taking on the 12th of September because you are never sure of you know how many guests would be flying in and uh, the light might not really be conducive to shooting so yes a big thank you to Emirates and thanks be to God for getting me this upgrade and here I am and soon enough I will be taking you guys through all the features on offer in this Boeing 777-300ER Game Changer Suite. Anyways, um, before we go further into what all is on offer, um, I just want to say that this is going to be a very, very interesting segment coming up. So do watch this space because there is so much to show. This suite screams opulence, um, brilliance, attention to detail, you know, expansiveness and this in terms of the in comparison to the earlier gen triple seven this actually only has six suites rather than uh, the, the the earlier gen which had eight so the earlier one had a one two one configuration but this is a one 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 configuration so you've got you've got two rows of first class with two aisle seats running down the center and then you've got the four windows but they are actually not aisle aisle seats more on that later so yes there's a lot more to come your way keep watching this video well to kick start things this is emirates first class. so you have the dine on demand service unlike uh, the budapest dubai segment which was actually a shorter flight around five hours we had only one meal service but here we have a dine on demand wherein we can order from the breakfast or from the lunch menu and to start things off i'm actually going in for a vitality boost for, along with some chips which isn't really an appropriate pairing but anyways and some nuts on the side so this is going to be an interesting <laughs> starter to have and before I move on to actually having my lunch not really in the mood to have any breakfast but yes this is how we start things off on Dubai Brussels EK183 on the 25th of August 2022 so for lunch I've ordered the chicken consomme followed by the prawn makbus and then we've got the almond strusel cake coming our way going to be a very tasty three course meal and I'm really really excited about this so let's dig in and enjoy the lunch service yes Thank you so much. <laughs> Just to give you an idea as to how the presentation and plating is on Emirates first class. Well, this is the chicken consomme right here. We've got some fresh breads on the side with some salt and pepper and butter and some balsamic vinegar and olive oil should we require that later in our meal. So this is the first course and uh, once we are done with this, we'll move on to the main course which is the prawn makbus a mediterranean delicacy so for the main course we got the prawn makbus a mediterranean delicacy and uh, i'm actually feeling quite full after having that chicken consomme which was very good time to gorge on this before we finally finish our meal with the dessert go for it Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> so guys, 
this is the almond streusel cake with toffee sauce and some chantilly cream on the side looks so stunning and very very tempting i guess i'm going to be putting on a lot of calories before i land into brussels so thankfully this is the last part of the meal and i can give my tummy some rest with my meals out of the way it is now time to take you guys for a tour of the first class game changer suite on board emirates boeing 777 300 e r <clears throat> in fact i just realized that this is the same flight i will be flying back on on 12th of september because this flight becomes ek182 and it lands early in the morning here in dubai before it flies back into brussels becoming ek183 anyways so this is the uh first class suite and um, in comparison to the standard a380 and the 777 uh first class suite this one has a humongous um tv this is almost 32 inches the ones on um uh, the a380 and the 777 i think are around 27 inches if i'm not mistaken 20 uh, 25 to 27 inches but yes this is a humongous tv screen there is a difference in the layout as well you have the mini bar split on either side so you've got your still and sparkling water here which can be opened with this latch here so there you have it and then you've got some uh, light eats here featuring some chocolates some haribo gummy bears some thai spicy snacks and then some chips and some mixed nuts in terms of the main base well you've got this huge thing which opens up to reveal a bireto wellness kit which has a towelette a facial toner some eye cream a pillow mist and sleep oil and then the good old and trusted emirates writing kit featuring the emirates diary and the pen so here it actually lists what the bireto skin care does that's a modern european luxury brand founded in 2006 by Ben Gorham <coughs> and what all benefits the Bireto offers so this is your Bireto kit and then here we actually have our dining table so all you have to do is just push and then pull it out and it can come down as well as come towards you pretty much almost close and level to the seating position itself and then if you want to put it back in then all you have to do is just push it back in and it pops back into place on the left hand side we've got the power adapters uh, the power sockets as well as a usb type a uh, thunder charger on this side you also have an hdmi which is interesting so if you want to actually look at some videos or some photos you can connect to the main screen using this hdmi port on this side we've got a huge storage storage space which basically is housing my trolley right now snug fit into that area to our left as i pointed out earlier we have this huge tablet this is like the flagship tablet that emirates can give you with complete touch touch screen functionality and uh, it has all the controls on offer seamless i can say in terms of tactile feedback and touch uh, sensitivity you've got your eyes you've got a video call and voice call service now this is an interesting feature it's called call room service you can basically speak to the head person who is at the front of the airplane and uh, place your requests if you have be it for any meal like i said about dine and dine on demand 
or if you have any other requests during the flight so this is really interesting you can have a video call or a voice call as i said it's opulence galore <laughs> here you've got your one touch preset settings for your uh, seat you've got the lounge bed lounge the dine the take off taxi and landing you've got minute adjustments that you can make to your seat positioning and finally you've got the privacy light on which basically means that you're asleep and you request the flight persons to not disturb you at least not until the flight lands right so this was the main tablet itself um one interesting thing about the entertainment system that i did not tell you guys was uh, the live tv so here if they do have uh, a live tv feed then um, you can actually get to see live sports or live oh actually they do have some live tv going on there you go <clears throat> so if i just do full screen or probably yeah they do have live tv and then if i press play there it goes on to the the main screen so you can so this is interesting you can actually see it either on the large screen or if you don't want to um, don't want it to be there you can actually see it on the tablet itself so very nifty piece of uh, seamless switching emirates offers you there coming down to the lower end of this control panel we've got this which basically is a sun blind system global close and open and look at how dark our uh, suite has become and then if you need to push it up again then you just press this button i guess and there you have a global opening of the sun blind so this is actually just to have a global closing of the sun blind here you actually have the lights so you press this and you can actually see the lights let me just turn it up there and you can see the on off switch is there working then here we have the channel up or down button where you've got the play pause and uh, this is for the volume increase or decrease this i guess is something that i don't know yet this is the call attendant or call the flight person button this is again a sun blind but this is for the specific window so this is retracting only the first window there you go and then this is for the middle window and this is for the nearest window so that's the first second and third i went the other way so apologies for that on this side we've got this really interesting pair of binoculars something that kind of makes you wonder why these are here well if you find something of interest from your window and you really want to have a closer shot of what you're looking at then or a closer look at what you're looking at so this is this will definitely come in high handy it's a steiner um has a good amount of zoom and just an added accessory to add to an already engaging flying experience on the game changer out here in this small little place we got the type c usb type c to type c charger so that is for the newer devices if you want fast charging and here we've got a notch which when we move to the farthest end brings out a slide out tray which you can use to keep your uh, drinks or your savories or your sweet snacks um if you don't want to use the main table itself and all you have to do is just push it back in and it pops into place so this was the the tour of what lies in front of us and now i'm going to switch over and show you guys how the seat looks and what are the features on offer at the seat itself well um, whatever i say about the seat will not do justice because 
this is actually called a zero gravity seat which is designed by Mercedes and uh, it's specially designed for the first class guests on Emirates to give you a very very comfortable and a very very premium experience something that I can vouch for because this is by far the most comfortable first class seat that I've been on make no mistake about it the A380 and the 777 have some very good first class seats but this one you know just takes top honors so this is how the seat looks of course um, this has the lie flat feature so it can become a bed and here we've got four quick buttons you've got the flight uh, flight takeoff landing setting you've got the lounge setting you've got the flatbed setting and here you've got the dining setting of course I'm looking at it from the other way sir from the other from the other side so the controls are looking inverted here you've got a, th a three pin uh, adapter for your headset which is housed in a cupboard that I'll show you guys later here with this push button it opens up a space which houses the joystick so this joystick can be used to joystick or a remote I can say uh, normally it used to be a joystick but now it's a remote and you can have some quick buttons that can be used to control certain functions in the suite itself moving on to the right hand side of the uh, the seat and here you've got a small piece of storage which I think can easily house your mobile phone while takeoff and landing so that you don't end up losing your phone in the crevices of the seat because um, there are warning messages that keep popping up on the on the system requesting passengers to to not move the seat if they are if their mobile does fall into one of these gaps because it could actually damage the phone so this was the seat itself zero gravity designed by mercedes for emirates first class on the boeing 777-300 game changer now coming to this really long looking cabinet well it opens from here and it houses two hangers for keeping your suit or your clothes down we've got the mattress and the duvet here we've got Emirates's um, in-flight duty-free magazine and here we have Bowers and Wilkins headsets offered for Emirates with their special 3 pin plugs let me just pull this out and show you guys how it looks sanitized of course before use for, for, <laughs> for the use of the next passenger whoever it might be coming on board and look they look very premium and Bowers and Wilkins well we all know how good an audio signature they have but these are wired headsets noise cancellation is offered on these of course and uh, they do a stellar job in cancelling out the wind and the noise that you always have in flight so if you guys don't really have a premium headset to fly with you can always bank on this out here we've got another storage space which houses um, it's quite strong which houses an Egyptian cotton pillow and another set of mattress up there oh boy and we've got two reading lights we've got two overhead lights and we've got an intensity button here to either increase or decrease the level of intensity of all these lights here we've actually this is not padded it's just uh, it just has a cardboard like kind of a wallpaper design don't know what this is exactly what I really love and it's a really nice touch is this are these curtains on either side which you can just unhook and then they come across 
the entire space control panel on the side is what i really want to talk to you guys about this actually is emirates explore a world of lights well in the night in fact uh, i can actually show you guys they have this this the spectacle of lights on the roof which kind of replicate um, how the night sky would look with all the constellations in place so here you have the night sky with constellations or the stars acting as constellations so these lights are actually designed as per how you'd see uh like you know a night sky on a clear night so yes coming back to this explore a world of light on emirates we have first up we've got the lighting for dining and all you have to do is once you keep pushing this up you have a light that keeps glowing once you bring this down the intensity of light reduces to eventually going to zero here we've got the recline the recline setting and here you can see this light glowing now and as i move this down wow <laughs> it's really confusing anyways so that was the dining light this is the reading light and then we've got i'm just trying to see where the dining light is so first up you've got these reading lights and then you've got these dining lights which you can just press and they switch off if you press the reading light press it again it switches off if you want the ceiling light to come on well there you have it press it again and there it goes off then you've got these wall lights which basically are these two you looking bulbs and you can change the intensity of these lights um or the luminosity i think yeah that's the one the luminosity of these lights with the wall button and finally you've got the floor lights which are right here and um wow this is so good so you just click here and the lights come on and off i'll actually let the floor lights be because they add a lot of oomph and a wow factor to the suite itself on this side we've got so this this was the intensity button and here we've got um, oh okay so this is the privacy button uh, that i was telling you guys about the do not disturb button uh, this is actually the heat, the temperature control so if you want to increase or decrease the temperature in your suite so you can do that for ac regulation then this is or oh, this is these are actually seat functions so as i'm pressing this it is actually taking me into a lounge setting you can't really change it so i'm just going to press it so that my seat comes back to the normal neutral position that is when i'm in take off landing mode and this was a quick walk through of the emirates first class game changer suite but the walk through does not end here because i am actually going to be moving away from my window seat here to this adjoining aisle seat which is 1e 1 echo and i have and as you guys can see this has the same design as the window seat itself although this one also has windows now this is where the usp of the emirates a380 uh, emirates 777300 game changer is you can actually see what are called as virtual windows here now if you if i'm able to show you guys a slightly better view well this is how uh, these virtual windows are working these are not simulation 
these are actually not fabricated images but these are actually live feeds that are coming in from HD cameras that are housed across the length of the Emirates aircraft on either side and they actually relay live HD images to these screens making these virtual windows so even if you are a passenger sitting in the aisle like one echo or the second row because there are just two aisle seats on this game changer configuration you still have a window view so you're not feeling left out and uh, you can still enjoy the views from the comfort of your seat finally guys um, talking about the layout itself well like I said this is a 1-1-1 configuration and uh, the aisle setting is such that you have one echo here but then you don't have a two echo so two echo is actually shut it is on the other side and uh, two alpha has full privacy on this side so you actually have only six Emirates first class game changer suites out here and uh, these are all in 111 configuration before I forget there are two interesting features that I love seeing on this aircraft one of course is that these doors shut so you can pull them here and this, clo this basically closes your suite now this service window is still open so how do you actually bring this up well i think yeah you just press this button and then you bring this up there you go so now we actually have complete privacy in our first class suite there is no hindrance and there is i mean of course the attendants and the flight persons whenever they need to alert us or inform us about something can always do that but uh, these are heavy duty service windows and latch doors that Emirates has given if you see through a window here and I'm guessing it is visible we can see some really interesting mountains and these are over Mosul and uh, we're still four hours away distance to destination is about 2,000 miles we're at 34,000 feet doing 550 miles per hour um, that's Mach 0.8 to 9 <clears throat> that's around 800 kilometers per hour and uh, distance from Dimbar departure is about 1100 miles so we still have about four hours of flying time left before we land into brussels and uh, just before 1 pm we should be in belgium so this these are the mountains of Mosul, and uh, some really interesting views for us to see so guys this was a quick walkthrough of the entire game changer suite of the Emirates Boeing 777-300ER and um, now I'll actually be showing you guys how the bed looks I'll have my bed made by the flight purser and you can actually see how comfortable and inviting this really really premium and opulent an extravagant zero gravity uh, seat bed becomes <laughs> this is how my bed looks with the mattress and the duvet the pillow and if I do feel cold they also offer another extra shawl or covering if I can put it that way looks very elegant it's quite a cumbersome process for the onboard airline pursers you know to to set it all up it's not an easy thing and kudos to them to always ensure that everything looks neat and tidy and in place and perfect
for uh, for the patrons on this flight so guys it's time for some slumber and uh, three and a half hours into brussels i mean three and a half hours away from brussels so i probably might sleep for a couple of hours before we land into uh, belgium so see you guys on the other side here we are guys nearing our descent actually descending into belgium nearing touchdown into brussels in about 15 minutes time and um, and yes i've had a very restful time very comfortable slumber and it was important i actually slept like a baby and feeling refreshed now and ready for my transfer to hasselt once i land in brussels so so yes guys um, we are almost near the end of our journey from mumbai to brussels on board emirates so guys this brings me to the end of the first class experience on board the emirates 777 boeing 777 300er game changer suite i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i tried to cover as many aspects as i could showing you the walk through and all that stuff and uh, and yes we are just about 10 minutes away from descent so i need to wrap up everything very quickly uh, thank you so much for watching guys i will be leaving the links to my other social media handles in the video description below so if you guys want to connect with me on other social media channels please do please like share comment subscribe um, take care guys stay safe enjoy your travels whenever they may be wherever they may be and i will see you all shortly with some more content on my youtube channel take care guys otherwise and god bless you all